Marquee here. Welcome back to the Marquee Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make banana foster cheesecake. It's one of my favorite cheesecakes from our cookbook, Sweets in the Raw, and I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make. So let's start by making the crust first. We're gonna start by adding in half a cup of almonds, a quarter cup of walnuts, about six pitted medjool dates, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then just a little pinch of salt. And now we're gonna go ahead and blend. Now I wanna show you what it looks like if it's not blended quite enough. We're still gonna see some like chunks and particles of the nuts. We want it to look like a graham cracker-like crust. So we're gonna blend it just a little longer. Okay guys, that looks perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and just place this crust into our pan. Now just firmly press this all the way down so we have a nice, smooth, even crust. Now that that's all pressed, we're gonna go ahead and make our filling. Now you have two options. If all you have is a food processor, this will work. If you want a really smooth, even consistency, go ahead and pull out your blender now. Now to make the filling, all we're gonna need is two cups of pre-soaked cashews. Go ahead and soak these overnight for the creamiest cashews. We have our refined coconut oil, about six medjool dates pitted, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, and you guys all know how much I love that stuff, three quarters of a cup of coconut milk, and then we're gonna go ahead and juice a lemon. We want one whole lemon here, and I always juice into a bowl, so that way I don't have to pick seeds out later. And the lemon is just gonna add a really nice light note to this cheesecake. Now we're gonna blend this, and then we'll add in our banana. Now that we've blended that pretty well, we're gonna go ahead and add our banana in. And now let's blend it one more time. Okay, that blend for about a minute and look how smooth and yummy that looks. Now all we're gonna do is scoop that right to our cheesecake pan. And now we're just gonna go ahead and smooth that out. And then here's a super fancy trick no one ever teaches you. By tapping this onto the counter, it's gonna release all the air pockets from the cheesecake. So you have a perfect mold every time. Now that this is all set to go, we're gonna set it in the freezer for 12 hours. Lucky for me, I have a backup sitting in the freezer, so I'll be right back with our fresh one. Okay, so now that we have our cheesecake ready, all I did is run the base under warm water. That will allow me to slide it right out, like so. I then just take a knife, run it right underneath the bottom. That'll pop right off. Set it on your serving platter or tray. And then I usually top this off by adding a little bit of fresh date paste. That's just what we're gonna use as our glaze. And that is made with just basically combining dates, water, if you wanna get fancy, a little bit of vanilla. So just spread that evenly. And then we're just gonna go ahead and top that with some banana. So same thing as before. Go ahead and just slice some banana on top. Okay, and it's that simple, guys. This is our beautiful banana foster cheesecake. I hope that you guys enjoy. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Be sure to hashtag us at Naturally Healthy Desserts, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!